We're in the middle of wildfire season here in Maine. Maine wildfires are usually pretty small, but there is a tool online to look at the fire risk in your area. As you can see, counties along the coast are seeing the highest risk right now. And if you were with us last night, you saw that there were multiple fires at homes around the state. And after a week full of those fires, those that work to put them out in Western Maine are preparing for the next major fire they're called to. New Center Maine Sean Stackhouse has the latest from Freiburg. Before they respond to scenes like this, firefighters in Western Maine are ensuring everyone is well prepared. It's the first time that I've worked on a pump panel. Josette DeChambeau has been a volunteer with the Freiburg Fire Department for five years, but she says she's mostly worked in EMS. Today, she's one of the 30 learning the ins and outs. It was really good to start from literally the ground basics. Uh, they went through everything from making the math easier to getting the hands on step by step. This is how you do it. This weekend's training focused on pump operations with trainees honing their skills at the Freiburg Fairgrounds. We are looking to make sure that everyone is operating the uh, equipment safely. That's our primary concern is the safety of the firefighters and of the public as well. Denmark Fire Chief Chris Wetworth has been fighting fires in Maine for almost two decades. Members of his department on hand for pump training while also getting the opportunity to train with others they'll likely see on a call. People we're training with right now are the people that we could be with tonight or tomorrow at an actual event. And so that be able to know each other personally, be able to have the same skill set, the same mindset is critical for our operations. So you know how that person works. You know that you've trained together. So you know that everything that you just took from this class, they know too. The training run by the Maine Fire Service Institute and coordinated by the Western Maine Firefighters Association, giving first responders with all experience levels the knowledge they need to keep you and your home safe. The more we can practice with getting our hands on and practicing, you know, step by step, it becomes muscle memory. So when we get to that, you know, anxiety inducing uh, all the adrenaline pumping moment of, oh, something's on fire. Now you know what to do. You've trained how you want to play. Training that firefighters like DeChambeau hope to keep with them for a long time. I'm planning to be here. I want to be the 60 year old woman running these pumps one day. In Freiburg, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine. This weekend's training also comes as Maine continues to see a shortage of firefighters in the state. The departments that took part in the training all say they have openings for both volunteers and staff, and those openings range in everything from administration and dispatch to EMS and firefighters.